Damn near five years ago, right around the time melee ribbons were introduced into the game, I made a video about the Guandao. More specifically about a ribbon that I got for it which in combination with primed reach would give me 295% increased range. This however was well before the patch that changed the way range mods work on melee weapons because previously you would get a percentage based increase which heavily favored weapons that already had good range whereas nowadays after the change the amount of range you get is exactly the same on every weapon. This one change took my Guandao from having about 12 meters of range to only about 8 which was not great. It was still a good amount of range but not quite as good as it was before. Ever since that change I've been trying to figure out a way to get at least 10 meters of range on my melee weapons without having to pay hundreds maybe even thousands of platinum for a perfectly rolled range ribbon. This is where the incarnate weapons come in. Enter the Inodem, which with its measly 1.8 meters of base range may not seem like a good pick. It is a little stabby dagger at the end of the day. However, one of its evolutions allows it to have 0.5 meters of extra base range. That's pretty good. But it's still not quite as good as the other incarnate weapon, the Praedos, which has 2.5 meters of base range. So why not use this one instead? Well, it's all about the incarnate mode. On the Praedos, the incarnate mode gives you extra 2 meters of range, whereas on the Inodem it gives you extra 3 meters of range. So with everything stacked up, that being primed reach for its extra 3 meters of range, spring loaded blade for its extra 2 meters of range, the 3 meters you get from the incarnate mode and the 0.5 meters that you get from the evolution, the Inodem can reach up to 9.8 meters. Or a little bit over 10 if you use it on Mirage with Hall of Mirrors. And that is without me using a range ribbon, so you can do this as well. Now I did actually try to get a ribbon for the Inodem and you know I would try to roll it for even more extra range but I simply couldn't find one and even if I did it probably wouldn't add that much since the ribbon disposition on the Inodem isn't all that high. Now being able to reach up to 10 meters with a tiny stabby dagger is funny enough on its own but it's really funny when you overthink it. If we assume that Warframes are roughly about 2 meters tall which is roughly about 6.5 foot if you like to measure things in nonsense units this is what Zephyr Prime will look like in comparison to the actual dagger. Now I didn't just do this for the laws, I did it partially for the laws, but it's also genuinely useful to have a lot of range on your melee weapon. You can build combo much faster, which is important because you do need to do a heavy attack every minute and a half to reset the incarnate mode. It feels much better, particularly on a dagger, because you don't need to hug the enemy to actually hit them. And perhaps the best thing about having a lot of range on your melee weapon is that you can swat Corpus and Orokin Ospreys out of the sky without doing, well, anything. Anything. Like all that's required is for them to exist in your vicinity. That's it. Now don't assume that this is a meme setup, because it's really not. The inner dam is a very, very strong dagger, especially when you activate in current mode for the extra attack speed. This will do sorties and even steel path. Even more than that, actually, it will do sorties and steel path on zero forma without a ribbon. Yeah, it won't be as good as if you were to ram in all damage mods, but you really don't need all the damage in the world, even for a steel path. So in conclusion, if you don't have the inner dem yet, go and get it, and while you're at it, you might as well try it out with maximum range, because trust me, it is a lot of fun. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.